All right, guys, so today we're going to work on this valve cover and we're going to change it from this typical normal aluminum or metal look and we're going to change it to a painted look. We're going to put a logo right there, just just a modest logo, a little sticker as a stencil. But we're going to take this all apart. I think it's like a lot of 10 mils. Um, hopefully I can find my socket for that. But anyway, let's take this thing off, sand it down, make it all nice for now and I'll hit it with some paint and then make this thing look really good because we got a lot of stuff coming for this engine very, very soon, so I'm really excited. So let's get right into this and make this thing look 10 times better than it already does, kind of. This on the other hand looks so good. It's really, really clean. Like this gasket looks new. Everything looks really good. But we're gonna paint this all up, clean it up even more, replace this gasket, and then pretty much done with this. We gotta take this plug out. Let's degrease this whole thing and then get it ready for paint. Alright guys, so the valve cover is completely sanded now. We're going to take a few things off. I got some he paint heating up right now to lay a coat here. Yeah, that should be pretty much it. Just a color coat there, just, just to cover this, and then we can put the sticker on it. And then just paint the whole thing black, and then put the color coat on top of it again, just to give it a cool effect. Nothing too crazy. So anyway, let's get right into this. the color coat over the whole thing just to miss it on and then we'll be done with it and then we'll put a clear coat on put it back in the car and do a lot more things to the engine mate and make it look 10 times better all right guys so there it is it has a burgundy color from the red color coat that I sprayed very very heavily like three coats of it on top of the black to give it a different hue so it's very subtle and it looks really good all right guys so I also did get new spark plug wires to so replace those black ones right there so we're just gonna switch them out I mean it's a red to oh yeah and I painted the motor mount hook out too so anyway accents in the engine bay will be red like the, the air filter so let's just replace it should be pretty easy now that it's all open all right guys so everything is bolted up in the engine and as you can see it looks really really good it's so got new spark plug wires the new paint looks amazing we got a new gasket under there we still got to connect these vacuum hoses and then we'll be pretty much done with the install and painting and everything else and i mean it looks really really good oh my goodness this build i am focusing on the engine and everything in here especially that coming very soon but anyway, we got to hook things up and hopefully the car runs with these new plug wires because I'm kind of unsure. Um, but anyway, let's put everything back together and hopefully the car turns on. Alright guys, I guess you could say that is a wrap for today's video. The engine bay looks super cool. Oh, that's my window. It is now branded. Um, I think it looks really, really good. The only thing I would do differently is I'd put a primer down. Adhesion promoter, that's what is something I didn't do. We have a lot of things coming for the Miata. I can't say much about it, but it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna change 
that sound, so I, I don't know if you can really change it. But anyway, I'm really excited for what's coming next and for the Honda. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to stop ranting and let you guys go. But in the next video with whatever we're doing, I'll catch you guys then. But don't go anywhere. So once we hit 150 subscribers again, we'll be doing a hood exit exhaust on the Honda. But until the next video comes out, or if we hit 150, whatever comes first, I'll catch you guys in the next video.